Hello everyone. Thank you for joining me this evening. My name is Kylie with Bakey Love. Tonight I'm going to be showing you how to properly use a frying thermometer, a couple of quick safety tips whenever you're frying, as well as how to fry up the perfect beignets. All right, let's get started. So today I'm using a enamel cast iron pot. I'm gonna go ahead and tip my camera a little bit so you can see it. So enamel cast iron is great for frying as well as any um, normal cast iron and any like heavy bottom to stainless steel pot, also ideal for frying. So I'm also going to be using stainless steel tongs. You can use a metal slotted spoon. You could also use a uh, silicone uh, coated uh, tongs. I would not recommend using plastic when you're frying at a higher temperature. So this is the thermometer that I'm going to be using this evening. I'll go ahead and pop this down so you can see it. So what I look for in a good thermometer is one that you're able to read easily for obvious reasons. So as you can see on the side of mine here, the degrees are really easy to read so that you're able to tell exactly what temperature your oil is. Another really great feature on this thermometer is that it has a little hook in the back. I'm gonna show you guys that which is really great, slides up and down, it's adjustable. So you can put it on the side of your pot here, which is great. I'm just using the tongs because it gets hot. You wanna make sure you don't burn yourself. And then it allows the, the hook allows the thermometer just to be just right in the center of the oil, which is the sweet spot, which is exactly where we want it. Because we wanna be getting the temperature of our oil and not the bottom of the pot. So this one also has a little metal ledge at the bottom. So even though the metal ledge is hitting, my thermometer never will, which is another really great feature. So we're still waiting for our oil to come up to the optimal temperature. So for the time being, I'm gonna show you a couple little safety features um, that I like to practice whenever I'm frying. I always like to make sure that I have my lid handy nearby. So this is my lid that fits perfectly on my pot. So in the event that you just are doing too much and you forget that your oil is getting hot, gets a little too hot, starts sputtering, you just put your lid on, move it off the heat, turn your heat off. Um, if you're cooking on a gas range, you get a little bit of a flare up, same thing, put your lid on, move it right off of the heat and you'll be good to go. So that's always good to know and you also never wanna add uh, water with oil because they are not friends, it's not, it's not um, going to end well, but don't worry. You're, after this, you're gonna know exactly how to safely fry and everything's going to be great. So just a couple of fun facts while we're waiting for our oil to come up to temp about beignets. So believe it or not, they date back to before the 16th century. They have become very popular in France. That's where we all know of them, their origin. And Fran the French colonists brought them over to Louisiana where they became so popular that they are now the state donut. Uh, traditionally, beignets are made with a pat de choux pastry, which is the same pastry that we use to make cream puffs and eclairs. And over time, as recipes do, it evolved in the States and into like a yeast dough. So yeast was added to it. And that is the dough that we are going to be using today in our recipe. All right, so let me check out. Yep, we're actually exactly where we wanna be temperature-wise on our oil. So I'm gonna go ahead and face this down so you're able to see what we are frying up. Excellent. So I'm going to go ahead and grab my beignets. I have them over here ready, rolled out and cut. And you're just going to add them in. You're going to, you want to face them away from you because you want to make sure that there isn't going to be any splatter on you. And you want to drop them low and not from a high height. As you can see, I'm only adding in three at a time. This is really important when you're frying. You don't want to overcrowd your pot because as soon as you add product to your oil, it drops the temperature of your oil. So as you can see, I was at 375 and I'm dropped down to 350, which is completely fine. It's okay to be at 350, still a good deep frying temperature. But what we don't want is for them to sit in the oil for too long, soak up too much oil, because then you get a greasy beignet, which is not what we're looking for. What we're looking for is this nice golden brown color. Everybody can see that. And that's when you want to flip. There you have it. Good, check on my last guy here. Looking great. So I'm gonna flipping them over to the other side. They're gonna be about 30 seconds to, to a minute on this side. I'm looking at it, it's probably more like 30 seconds. And they're starting to puff up and kind of get that nice pillowy texture to them. That's exactly what we're looking for. 
All right, so next to me, I have a paper towel lined plate that I'm gonna be placing my beignets on. And this paper towel is gonna to help soak up any of that extra grease um, that's gonna come off of these. And that way it doesn't end up on our presentation platter. So they are just about ready to go. They look so good. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and pop them onto my paper towel lined plate over here. Let any of that excess oil drip off. All right, I'm gonna aim you over here so you can see what I am up to. All right, so I'm just gonna give them a flip. All right, onto the presentation platter they go. And for anybody who's just joining us this evening, we were talking about how to properly use a frying thermometer and how to fry up the perfect beignets. All right, I am now going to generously sprinkle them with powdered sugar because it makes them absolutely delicious. And there you are, perfectly fried beignets. They look really good, don't they? I can't wait to eat them. If you too want to make your own delicious beignets at home, you can visit our website at bakeyloveboxcom The boxers are going fast. Uh, and the exciting news is, is they will be here in time for Mardi Gras. So check it out. And thank you so much for joining me this evening. We absolutely would love for you to follow us. And if you have any questions, I'm going to be posting this video in just a few moments. So you can put any questions or any feedback that you have um, on that post. And we'll be sure to get back to you. Thank you so much. Looking forward to seeing you next time. Bye.